Welcome Warp Enjoyers to another Trasla tutorial. Today we're going to dive into the checking part of Trasla, especially when it comes to randomizations done by other randomizers. There are some things about it that may be a bit confusing at first, but this video is going to explain them all so that you know how to deal with them. First of all, if you want to check warp connections in a ROM file, whether it's created by Trasla itself or some other randomizer, you have to click this nice little button right here. It's the one with the arrow facing away from the ROM, which basically means that Trasla is only gonna read from it. If you're not sure about it, there's a description in the lower left corner to reassure you that you got the right one. Once you click that button, you will be able to select your ROM file. Make sure that the ROM file fits the game you're trying to check and features one of the in-game languages supported by Trasla. So once we loaded our actual ROM file, we will get a message that informs us about the successful loading of our ROM's warp connections. And now we can see... absolutely nothing. Don't fret, because this is not a bug, this is intentional. In order to make your warp connections appear, you can do one of two things. One, click a warp that you want to inspect and whoosh, get taken to its destination. Or two, use the built-in hotkeys to make lots of warp connections appear simultaneously. If you don't know which hotkeys you can use, just go into the settings and look them up. So in my case, showing all connections is bound to F5 and hiding them is bound to F6. And that's what it looks like if you show all of the warp connections at once. Holy moly, what a mess! So, what to do with this information now? Well, if for instance you are looking for a path to a specific warp, like let's say Gym 1, you navigate to that area and click the warp that you want to be your destination. It will take you to the connected warp. Here you want to check the warps that are found in this room and see where they lead next. This one's taking us to Yumalo City and this one is getting us to Landemus Town. Depending on where you are in the actual game, this might not be enough and you may just want to keep checking warps until you find your path. Oh boy! Gym 7! Nice! However, let's check out the entrance to Reversal Mountain. Well, this one seems to go into the mountain itself. Almost as if it wasn't randomized at all. Okay, let's get back. Wait a second, where's that line coming from now? So yeah, this is a situation that you may encounter sometimes. Keep in mind, this is not a bug, this is intentional. You may not really find this in ROMs randomized by Trussell itself, but since I cannot tell other devs how to code their warp randomizer logic, there will probably always be things like that. So, this situation can mean one of two things. One, two totally independent warps are pointing towards the same destination. Or, two, there is actually another warp underneath the one we are seeing here. The thing is, you actually want to check for the second case first. Trasla has a construct called linked warps. Linked warps would inherit the warp connection from the warp they are linked to when being randomized by Trasla. This is very important because in some of the games you may have multiple tiles next to each other that share a warp connection. If those tiles were to lead to different areas, that would be confusing as hell. So in order to avoid that, we got linked warps placed underneath the warp that's being randomized. If you want to see if there's a linked warp underneath your warp, you hold the ALT key and try to drag it out of its place. See? We got one! As you can see, it is marked with an L. For Luigi, of course. Because Luigi always stands in the shadow of his brother, which is actually kinda sad. Luigi, I love you. You're great. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. So, our Luigi warp right here is actually the one being randomized by the other randomizer. But why does the Reversal Mountain entrance even have two warps? Well, there's a reason for that other than multiple tiles being placed next to each other. Some maps in Pokemon games can have multiple versions of them. 
or instances. This includes, but is not limited to, the National Park in Gen 2, Spare Pillar in Gen 4, and version-exclusive areas in Gen 5. Maybe I'll go more in-depth with this topic in a later video, but for now just keep in mind that this exists and is actually the case here. However, if holding ALT while trying to drag on a warp doesn't reveal a linked warp, you just found that there's more than one warp pointing towards the one you checked. Usually those will only become visible if you either press one of the respective hotkeys or if you click the warp itself. As always, this is not a bug, this is intentional. Trussler just reads the warps and doesn't make much sense of them. This is actually part of your job here, and so far you do pretty well. Anyway, in this case, the other randomizer left the inside of that house out of the randomization pool, which means that even though it points towards its original destination, it won't ever be relevant, since there is no way to get into that house other than cheating. Well, unless there is a script in the game that would take the player there regardless, but this isn't really the case here. One last thing to talk about are uncharted warps. Since there are lots of warps in the games that are not really relevant to randomizers in some way or another, they may not appear on the map. Those warps could be areas abandoned by the devs that are still found in the code of the game or areas that are usually not being randomized, like safari zones or battle towers. However, just in case a randomizer does decide to randomize such areas, Trasler is at least prepared, even though you may not be able to see which area it actually is that you are looking at. The ultimate goal is to update the Trasler maps in the future to feature as many in-game maps as possible, but for now this might suffice. So that's basically how you use Trasler to check warp randomizations. If this video was helpful to you, please consider helping an elderly person walk across the street sometime. That's it for this video and thanks for watching.